Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and I am going to spend a little work time with you giving this this wonderful verse. Father, we ask your blessing upon it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, if you've been liking what you hear, I would encourage you to press the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Well, listen to what Moses writes in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse number 18. And you shall remember the Lord your God. For it is he who gives you power to get wealth, and he will establish his covenant with you, which he swore to, uh, swore to you and your fathers as is in this day. So here is uh, Deut um, Moses talking to us from Deuteronomy that it is the Lord who gives us the ability to have wealth and success. Now, I love how John puts it in 3 John 2. He says, I pray that you be in prosperity and health even as your soul prospers. What we learn today is that the source is, of course, the Lord. And we need to go to the source. We need to recognize that God is our source. And John tells us that it starts from the inside out. As we seek the Lord, he is going to answer and he's going to give us exactly what we need. Now, Paul again reminds us in Philippians chapter 4 that God's going to supply every need according to his riches and glory. And he also said here, Deuteronomy, and Moses says, God's going to establish his agreement with you, which he, sw he swore to your forefathers. Basically, what the people that day were learning is that when the, God makes a promise, he is going to give it to us. And that's why Jesus, or Paul could say uh, in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, the promises of God are yes and amen in Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ, all the 10,000 promises and all the wonderful inheritance that we have comes to us through Jesus Christ from the Father in heaven. And he is going to fulfill exactly what he said he is going to do. That is the wonderful thing that we can know as we serve the Lord. That when God says he's going to do something, it's going to be doing something. Now, we also need to realize that wealth is not just material possessions. It's also soundness of mind. It's also the fact that you'll have peace in your heart. It's also, you know, the intangibles such as love and forgiveness and grace and all those wonderful things that people are seeking, mercy and grace and peace. Those are all things that come from the Lord. And when we understand that, we know that it's the intangibles that are more important than, you know, the cars and the houses, etc., etc., that we perceive as wealth. Father, today help us to realize that we are the ones who receive from you everything that we need. And when you decide to give us more, it is for the benefit of others. And we thank you for this now in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Robert Dean Steele. You have yourself a great and godly day.